I'll just take that. <laughs> Tox, when will you learn to be kind to others? What if the fin was on the other fish? What if a bigger fish swam over here and broke your toy? What if the fin was on the other fish? What do you think you're doing? doing? Tiny, Tiny talks. talks. <laughs> Good, Good one. one. Tiny, Tiny talk. talk. Tiny, Tiny talk. talk. <laughs> I, I was I just, 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 uh, just, just giving, giving us, us your, your toy. toy. Hey, come, come on, on, guys. guys. Uh, give it back. Give it back. <laughs>
I might not sin against God. Hi, today we'll be doing another Bible verse. This Bible verse is going to be Luke chapter 6, verse 31. Luke chapter 6, verse 31. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Good job. Now let's do it a second time and say it with me. Luke chapter 6 verse 31 Do to others as they as you would have them do to you It's object lesson time with Pastor Kirk and Bosco Hey kids welcome back from holiday break I'm Pastor Kirk and I'm Bosco the Bear. So, uh, Bosco, what do you have there? It sure looks good. It's the last piece of my favorite pie. And just so you don't get any funny ideas, no, you can't have it. I'm hungry. I put dibs on it first. But, Bosco, <laughs> how would you feel if I had put dibs on it first? What would you want me to do? Wouldn't you want me to give you the pie since it's your favorite? Or at least split it with you? Well, yeah, but only because it's my favorite, and that would be the right thing to do, the fair thing. And, oh, I can see where this is going already. You know, we all want to be treated fairly. We want to be treated with love. But do we always treat others the way that we want to be treated? Do I have to answer that? Because neither of us were probably going to like the answer. You're right there. <laughs> you know, but it's also good for you to be honest because then the Lord will help you to change and begin to treat others with kindness and love all the time. God wants our first thought or instinct to be ready to do what's right, to share, not take the whole piece of pie for ourselves. He wants us to be generous and kind and loving. Sounds like you want me to go hungry. <laughs> no, seriously, Bosco, that's not it at all. I just want all of us to remember that loving others means thinking of their needs first. It's not always simple, and it's almost never the easy thing to do. But when we are willing to stop and love others, we can show them that Jesus loves them too. I'm sorry. You're right. Or, I mean, God's word is right. And I do want others to know the love of Jesus. Good for you, Bosco. Remember the verse? Yep. Do to others as you want them to do to you. Luke 6, 31. Great job. Hey, remember kids, God sent Jesus to be our Savior because he loves us. Let's share his love with other people by doing good and kind things for them. After all, it's the way we want to be treated. And by doing this, the love of God will be known everywhere. I think I've had a change of heart. Really? Are you going to split that last piece of pie with me? No, I'll just save it for later when you're not around. <laughs> what? Just kidding. Of course I'll share it with you. You mean more to me than a piece of pie. I'm glad for that. See you next time, kids. Hi kids, Ruby Jones here. It's hot on the trail of another fantastic verse. Today, I'm in the doctor's office. But don't worry, I'm feeling fine. I'm here to talk to the doctor who wrote one of the Gospels and the book of Acts. It's Dr. Luke. Oh, well, well, hello there. Hi. I'm Bob, uh, I'm Dr. Luke. Hello, doctor. Yes, well, have, have a seat in the chair right here, would you? Oh, this chair? Yeah, yeah, that chair, that chair. Okay. What other chair would it be? <laughs> um, well, why am I sitting? Okay, well, um, let's just open your mouth and take a look. Uh, 
ASEAN A Okay, alright Let me make some notes here Okay, well, everything looks fine there Let me, uh, let me listen to your heart If you give me your hand here, I'm just gonna Okay, yeah, alright Okay, can you take a couple of deep breaths? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have modern medicine yet. This is the best I know, okay? All right, well, everything sounds fine there. So, uh, you know, why are you here? What, uh, what is troubling you? Uh, oh, you mean with my health? Oh, no, I'm, I'm fit as a fiddle. Oh, yeah, you seem fit to me. Yeah. No, I'm actually here to talk to you about your book. My book? Well, not the whole book. Just one verse in particular. Oh, you mean... The one where, where Jesus tells us how we should treat other people. Oh, you mean do unto others as you would have them do to you. Yes, how did you know? Oh, yes, just a lucky guess. It's, it's one of my favorite quotes, too. You know, Jesus loved us so much. And, and how can we not turn around and love other people the same way? Oh, I on. couldn't agree more, Doctor. All right. Thanks for sharing with us. Well, thank you. Thank you for dropping by and... And being healthy, it makes my job so much easier. And, and kids at home, you be healthy too. You know, brush your teeth, don't eat that candy, all that kind of stuff. So, okay. all right. Well, keep up the great work, Doc. Um, I'm on my way to find more fantastic verses. Cheerio, cheerio. <laughs>